Good afternoon. Welcome to my creation room. I am Sandy Evans, uh, for those that don't know, know me, and this is Spirits Flight Creations. Um, today I'm going to be doing a, kind of a, a Dutch pour. I'm using a beveled edge um, piece of MDF, three-quarter MDF wood that my husband made me, and it's approximately six by 18. It's long and narrow, and I'm just going to come in here. I've taped the back, so I've, I've laid down white. I'm going to be using Bordeaux red, green, blue, yellow, and yellow green, and some white. Um, and so let me just, it's going to get noisy, and I apologize. I'm just going to move this around a bit. Um, I'm just going to take some paint and just kind of go over the edges here a bit. Um, so I'm using uh, Artist Loft. Um, sorry. Flow Acrylic uh, mixed with uh, Floetrol and water. So I'm just kind of... And I should actually be using a... Um, uh, squirt bottle because then it saves a lot of paint but I'm not and I'll probably be kicking myself later for not doing that okay so just gonna give it a quick torch to get some of the air bubbles out and see that I don't know what that is but it can come out Okay, so um, I'm just trying to think the placement of my colors. So, oh, okay. I was originally going to do Dutch pour, but I think what I'm going to do is more like a swipe. Yeah, okay, so I'm going to... I'm going to lay down some red. Oops. Now what I'm going to do is, not that I'm prepared for this at all, because I'm not, because I was going to do a Dutch pour up to a moment ago. I've got this fancy dancy little, well, I don't know where my other one went. I'm going to try something. Um, hang on, sorry to be off screen. But I'm going to use a spatula. And I've got some, I'm going to use black. I'm going to have to mix it up. So bear with me while I mix this up. Um, I'm just going to kind of make a flow, not a flow snare, but it's what they call a cell activator. But I kind of do it a little bit different. I'm going to take some Amsterdam black. This is black oxide. Put it in here just a little bit. I don't want to make too much, um, but I want to make enough that I can do what I need to do. So, uh, I usually put about three to four times more, or four, three to four times um, the amount of paint to Floetrol for this particular thing. Okay. 
I'm going to have to use more, yeah, I'll have to use more Floetrol. Um, I have no idea if this is going to work either, guys. So I've, I've seen people do it on YouTube, other artists. Um, but they, they usually, they're usually using um, Australian Floetrol. And it's really hard to find here in Canada. Um, so I'm using the Floetrol that I can find in my hardware store. So North American Floetrol. And I'm mixing it ratio... Four to one. Okay, now I'm just going to go behind the camera quickly and get, it almost looks like a gray, and, and that's the Floetrol. It kind of dulls out the color a little bit. Um, okay. I'm going to go like that. So I actually got this idea from um, a YouTube artist, Molly's um, Artistry. And so she did a, a pour, a part of her series, a, I think it's a bright series it's called, I think. I'm not, don't, don't quote me. Um, anyway, so she... Did it with white first and then she's like she swiped with black on top of white so i'm doing a variation of that except i'm doing with the red first bordeaux red and if you guys haven't figured out i really like bordeaux red um so again i'm taking my spatula and all i'm going to do is lightly coat the um spatula so i'm going to put off camera here uh, you may or may not be able to see me i'm Putting some paint down on um, a six by six tile. I'm just gonna kind of put my spatula in there and get it coated. Oh, maybe. I figure I if if Phil, um, which is this, when I say Phil, there's another YouTube artist. Her name is Kath Kathleen Miller. And her and her husband have a YouTube channel. Well, she has a YouTube channel and he does all the videography. But if he can do something like this, I'm pretty sure I can try too. But I don't want a lot on there. So I'm just going to try and pour some of it off. Like I said, I, it's, this is a swipe. I don't want to inundate or put a lot on. And this is a big spatula. I have a smaller one, but don't ask me where it is. Okay, so ah, here we go. Oh, get this out of the way. Okay, here we go. Let's try this. I'm put it on. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. I need paper towel. Okay. It actually didn't turn out too bad. I'm just going to come in here. This is really heavy in the black. And I want to bring it around. Like that. And this is heavy in the black here as well. So I just want to bring... Bring it over some and bring this into the okay hey that doesn't look too shabby okay so now what I'm going to do you got some cells coming up you got lacing that's cool I like that okay so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this blue green and kind of put it here 
And then I'm going to take the yellow. And then I'm going to take the green. And then I'm going to take some more red. Um, first I'm going to put some white down. This is an iridescent white. Through there. And just a little bit. Okay. Now. I wish I could find the other spatula. Dang it. Just let me have a quick look here. It may have dropped back. I can't do that without making a bunch of noise. Anyway, okay. So, what am I going to do? Um, I am going to take this and some black on it like that and lightly oh, that's kind of cool okay now, I'm going to, what am I going to do? Take the torch and get some bubbles out of it. I'm going to spread this a bit. Sorry if my hand's in the way. I don't mean it to be. Just going to bring it down this way. Wiggle over the edges. You can see where most of my paint was, it was right in the middle. And bring it back. see it or not. Now let me turn it around so see if you can see it. And come back. Okay, I gotta be honest, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. So I'm going to scrape it. I'm going to scrape it and start over. And that's okay. Yeah, I don't like, I don't like it. I don't like any of it actually. So we're just gonna go like this. So I like the blue and the yellow. I'm not sure if I'm liking the green. So what I think I'm going to do this time is I think I need a smaller spatula. 
but I'm not going to um, yeah so like I said I will look for my other one so this time I'm just going to redo it and go with my initial um, idea which was a um, which was a, a Dutch pour and I've got enough paint for it so uh, you know what that needs to come off a bit more I'm going to just put that there. I've got my background. And this time I'm going to make sure I've got enough coverage and it goes right down the middle so that there's no... Um, so the paint has uh, got even weight to it. So, okay. Here we go. If I learn where all the the um, things are on my blow dryer, so I, I picked up some white from the side. Of course, it was dripping, and so it's got this dark stuff on it. That's okay because I have a plan. Believe it or not, this time I actually have a plan. Okay, so because this is long and narrow, hold on here. I want to. Um, kind of make it like comes up and then goes out this way so I'm going to put um, just a small drizzle of yellow and green on here so like this and then from here make a puddle um Follow with the yellow on here. Puddle. puddle. This time I'm going to make a, a another puddle here. And now I'm going to put a puddle here and a puddle here. I'm going to put a puddle there, a puddle there, and I want to puddle here with and bring some green in here. And I want white and white. I want, listen to me, I want, I want. Okay. So this is iridescent white. Um, Okay. It's green. Hmm. Okay. Gonna just bring Okay. 
now. So I'm going to come up, kind of blow this way, blow this way, blow this way, blow this way. I just come up like this. And blow that way. Blow this way, that way. Okay, I'm going to try this and see what happens. Whoa. Okay, so what I'm going to do actually is I'm going to do it the traditional way where you pour more white paint around um, the uh, lay down, but I'm going to go around with the iridescent white. I'm not going to use the white background. And this just helps the paint flow out more, just in case I don't have much or enough on my background. So what I'm going to do is blow the paint this way and then blow it out. Okay. Okay. That's my game plan. Let's see if it works. So we're going to go on cold. Here we go. Here we go, Lucy Lip. Here we go, Lucy Light. Here we go, Lucy Lip. Aw, shit. And I just ruined one of my pieces I did earlier today. Great. Sorry for the swear. So much for Lucy Lip and Lucy Lie. Okay, so I want to go this way, this way. cry right now because that what I just did to that vase it was beautiful I'm just gonna have to pour over it Frick me. anyway it doesn't matter well it does but I need a bigger drying space okay so it kind of worked out the way I wanted it but not really um cut I think I need some more over here Grab a straw and turn this. Okay, actually, that doesn't look too bad. I'm just going to clean up the edges, finish up the edges here. There we go. Oh, sorry. And don't do what I just did. Don't drag over your painting. OK, 
Okay, actually, I kind of like that. Yeah, okay, let's see what we can get going here. Um, you know what? No, I don't like it. I like the softness over here. I don't like the busyness over here. So, here we go again. Here we go again. We're just going to take that off and that off. I'm feeling disheartened right now because that piece, that vase was gorgeous. I guess I, I'm going to repour it. That's all I can do. That's all I can do is repour it. I hope I can come up with something as nice as it was. Okay, so because I like this, but I want to bring the blues and the red into it, I'm actually just going to um, to it right here but what I'm going to do I just bring a little bit of blue down here and okay see what we do okay so we're only coming down as far as so the paint moves we're going to come down the paint is starting to move there we go I'm liking that. So I covered up half of the condenser, the air condenser, to um, so it wasn't so wide of a blow. And I think I'm liking that a little bit better. I just want to put right here. But what I'm going to do is my breath. Yeah, I like that bit. It's balanced a little bit better. Okay. Okay. I'm actually going to leave this like this. Um... I like it. Now I'm going into the other room to see if I can fix this other painting. And I don't know if I can. I have enough. I should have enough colors. Um, you know what? We're going to do it right here. I'm just going to move this over. And I'm going to turn the camera so you can see what I'm doing. It's very crowded in here. Um, 
but I needed drying space so my husband made me this little table and I kind of didn't do what I wanted to do with it meaning that I wanted to have this for my pouring and filming area my paints and that over there is for my drying but my one has overflowed into the other and I caused myself an issue. So what I am going to do is I'm going to turn this painting sideways like this. Bring my puppy pad back under because it bulged up. Okay. Okay, we're going to go like that. So what, what I did with this was this was actually a pour that was a girl at work said I should possibly try. And it was a, um, I don't know if you guys can see. Hold on, I'm just going to go over and see if you guys can see what I'm talking about. You can't, so I'm just going to turn this. Like, yeah, like that. Okay, it's a mess in here and I apologize. So we're going to re-pour that um this vase so i used the colors the exact same colors i did on here except hold on i want to just make this sorry that was just a little too blunt okay so what i did was i poured um the metis colors on here and when I say Métis colors, I mean of the sash. Now, I don't know if it's going to work because this was partially dry already. It might all totally flake off. I might have to wash it with, um, wash it with some alcohol, rubbing alcohol, um, to, to get it to work. So the last color out is the last color put in here is the first color out. So I'm kind of just using up paints at this point. And if it doesn't work, I will remix and um, do it again. But it looked pretty awesome. And you can catch that video that I did it on in um, on my Facebook page. Sandy Evans. I'm actually going to make try and make a uh, Facebook page for um, Spirits Like Flight Creations. So I don't know if this is going to work, folks. See, this side here is really nice, but this side over here, less than optimal. But let's put some more red in. So these are, when I say the Métis colors, like I was saying earlier, these are the Métis sash colors. You have the red, green, uh, there's blue in there. That's why I picked the green, blue, yellow, white. And um, so, yeah. And even though this is not, uh, this is my background color. I'm just going to use a little bit of it for in here. Okay. Okay. Let's see if I can do this. And I am not touching this again. Okay, here we go. And everything happens for a reason, they say. So I'm just hoping I can get the coverage on this side that I totally fledged up on and I'm not doing the center because when I do the center that's where it kind of all pools and I blow it out and it kind of gets muddy but um, I know this is kind of looking like Christmas colors 
but we'll see what happens. Like I said, um, worst case is I have to redo the whole thing. And yeah, it's starting to look a lot like Christmas colors, the red and the white. But as it moves, like as it drips, it, it moves and it will change. See, I'm, I don't have the coverage. I, I'm going to have to redo some painting here. Um, so anyway, I will bring, I'll do another video as I'm going to stop this. And then I will bring you back um, when I've got my paints mixed. Okay. And somewhere along here, I have a little clicker to stop my video, but I don't know where it is. Anyway, I will, oh, there it is. Um, yeah, I can see that I don't have enough coverage over here and that's where it was touched. Um, so I'm going to remix it, remix the paints. I'll bring you back and we'll try this again. Thank you for joining me. Toodaloots. Have yourself a perfect day, whatever that may be for you.